Hello and welcome back to Simply Solo Playthroughs with the Chipmunk Gamer. We are here today with Star Wars the deck building game Clone Wars Edition. Now this is really kind of interesting because the question is, I was wondering, and we're going to be playing the leader's variant from the original. And you'll notice I do have it at the Empire side, which doesn't make sense, but it's red. Yeah. So we're following colors, not icons. So the question is, who are the leaders? I'll tell you, it's not Obi-Wan and General Grievous. It's Count Dooku and Mace Windu. Which, I'm going to be honest, that kind of surprised me. I, I was kind of expecting Yoda. But those are the only two eight-cost cards in the deck. So let's play Star Wars, the deck-building game, Clone Wars Edition. So everything is pretty much set up exactly the same. We have the Galaxy Row, we have Outer Rim Pilots. There's one card that's a little bit different and that's Jar Jar and we'll deal with him when we get there. So turn number one, Battle Droid is going to do two points. We have three points to buy. They will buy the Battle Droid because they cannot buy the control ship. And they will do Outer Rim Pilot. Uh, we have two points. Will they re exile? Nope. They will not go for this. They will go after Rishi. Uh, the starting plans are Rishi and that one. <laughs> I should probably figure out how to pronounce some of these names. I'm sure they're all in the Clone Wars. I really enjoy the Clone Wars. So we come to their end of turn where we will put this guy back, increased by one. I forgot to put a resource marker, but they used all their resources and now it's my turn. Okay, so we have five Republic shuttles to five to buy with. I cannot shoot anybody. I can barely buy anything. Uh, Embo. If you have another trooper in play, prepare two damage for your base. That's good. Embo gains one for each other neutral card you have in play to a maximum of six. Oh, we are going with Embo. And we have a lat gunship. Okay, so discard, and that's the end of our turn. Turn number two. The Empire is going to purchase for three points. And they will buy one hour rim pilot. They will get one new shuttle. I'm sorry, what is it? No, that's a force. Oh, I had another force point. Darn it. I could have bought ATRT. Darn it. Okay. Um, they have three. They bought one. They have, it means they have one left over. This will go up by two. Force goes into there. One more time. No. It went one, so it's there. So it only went one in their favor. Battle Droid goes back. These guys are ready, and time for the Republic's turn. Okay, so we should have two clone troopers, one shuttle, two shuttle, and a Jedi Knight. When you play a Jedi Knight, choose. They gain one attack, one force, one purchase with. So we have two to purchase with. We can get to three. We're not going to get to three, so we will buy the ATRT. Underworld Contact. Okay, the Jedi will four. 
four. Okay, can't. Oh, I don't know. I need to gain three fours. So I will shoot four. Four. And that leaves our Jedi Knight with one. And he will move the force in our favor. And shuffle. So we have two to purchase, which is five to purchase. We have four to attack with. And first of all, we're going to go with the one, two, three, four, five. They will definitely buy. Oh, the droid control ship. Because there's two of them. Another man guard. Mag guard. And they will go after the black gunship, which gives them a total of five to purchase. They will buy the largest droid control ship. And goes up by two. Gain Inquisitor. So they gain one force and the dark side agent. Republic turn. Okay, with the Republic turn, we have one, two, three, four to purchase with. You will top card your deck if the card is fire or a trooper. This unit gains plus two. I like that. Is in play and the force is with you. Each of your troopers gain one. Nice. I am going to go with the Arc 170. And the Jedi Knight. So that's one, two, three, four, four. I have one left over. I can. So I'm just going to move the force one more in my direction. And we have four. And there's Jar Jar Binks. I will buy Jar Jar Binks. Now Jar Jar is an interesting... When you purchase or play Jar Jar Binks, you may spend two and gain one force and place me in your opponent's deck discard pile. What I figured out is he's going to pretty much always be required so it stays in play the whole time. That's the basic idea. So I could spin two, but I don't have two. And there's General Grievous. See, General Grievous is a five, as is Obi-Wan. And next turn is the purchase turn. Turn number four. Okay, first of all, the uh, Sith Agent, the Dark Sith Agent, will move one force in his direction. That gives us one, two, three, four, five to purchase with. And we will purchase General Grievous. We then go on ahead and attack for two. There is no thing to attack for two, so they will go after my base. Empire turn. I mean, Republic turn. If you have another trooper in play, repair two damage to Oh, why don't I... Darn it. Okay. Bump. Err. Okay, so I can purchase one, two, three, four. Top a card in your hand with the top card of your deck. Kind of like that, but he's not going to last very long. 
Uh, we're going to go with her. So that takes care of these guys. We have an ATRT for two. We cannot do anything with it. Two more. And shuffle. So we have two droid control ships. They immediately go over here to protect the base. They have two each, so that's four, five, six, seven. Move the force one in their favor. They have two points to shoot with, so they are going to wait. So we have seven to purchase with. They will buy the highest cost capital ship. A three. That leaves them four. They will buy the highest cost card, Managar. Yeah, I'd like to get rid of him. He just ticks me off. Okay, and then we have our battle droid who will do two points. There's nobody he can bounty hunt or snipe or whichever way that it goes. That, that's six. So first of all, if you have another trooper in play, repair two damage to your base. I'm going to assume that can only be played one time. Each trooper gains a plus one attack. So with each trooper gaining a plus one attack, so that's going to be one, that's two, four, six, eight, ten. And force moves one in our favor with the Jedi. So let's see what we want to do. We want to... Everything's... <sighs> okay, so we have to do... Four. So that will take care of one clone trooper. Another four for the other clone trooper. So then we have four left. And we will snipe four left. Six over there. Okay, I am going to Oh, yeah, that's what I'll do. Okay, the ATRT will do two damage over here, which is enough to take out their base. We then go on ahead and she is going to take out Newt. So we gain one in the way of force. We're back up to full force, completely in our favor. I hope this is turn six. We forgot to move that up last turn. Okay, so they automatically gain a new base. Felicia, Felucia, Felucia, 14 points. Gain shuttle if forces all the way to the enemy. Discard all rebel cards from the Galaxy Royal. Otherwise, gain four force. Oh, great. So we have just one. Okay, that's, that's okay. That's fine. And that only happens one time. It's not an ongoing thing. And we will move with the dark, with the Sith. We'll move one into their favor. That is, we have a guarding ship. So that's one there. One, two, three, four, five. To purchase, to uh, purchase with. One to the force. 
battle droid has five. So we've got four or five to purchase. We cannot purchase a... We will... that for purchase and there's Mace Windu the other leader okay so that's going to be two into their favor which makes the force neutral we have five six to shoot with there is they cannot snipe Mace but that does in Rishi And I have Camino as my next one. So let's go to the Republic turn. So I have five I can purchase with. Two that I can attack with. Five that I can purchase with. With a bunch of hunter the Galaxy Pro, she gains two damage, that's good. If the force is with you, spend two fewer on the next neutral card you purchase. I like that. Okay, we are going to use two to get rid of Jar Jar. That gets us force in one on our side. We then have three more and we'll buy Underworld Contact. We have two to attack with and we will go after the ship. And that's the end of our turn. We will start with the Dark Force Agent moving Force to Neutral, neither with or for anybody. We have one, two, three, four to purchase with. We cannot purchase the Separatist Dreadnought. They will purchase, however, Gauntlet Starfighter. And we will... Seven? Oh, man. Fortunately, they cannot take out Mace Windu. Halfway gone already. Wow. Grievous knows how to do it, doesn't he? We have three to purchase with, possibly four. We have a fighter. We have an arc fighter. So let's reveal our top card. That is a trooper. This unit gains plus two. Okay. Okay, first thing we're going to... Okay, so this kind of stinks. The only thing I can do is take out this guy. Anything else is just as bad. But I do gain two force. And... I will go on ahead and gain the one force. We forgot to move this up. And that gives us three to purchase. So we get to purchase her. And that is the end of our turn. This was disappointing. One, two, three, four. We'll move the force for the Thing. That's four to purchase with. That means two being the force one in their favor. On your opponent's discard pile. 
and move the force. One more in their favor. And they have five to snipe and shoot with. So first of all, they will they have two to purchase with. They will buy the vulture droid. And they will do five damage to Camino. Three, four, and five. So that's twelve. And I turn. Okay, so I have three to purchase with. Does not do me any good. I don't have anybody I can snipe. So I am going to. Use his power, I can buy for one less. Remove the force one on our sorry, remove the force one on our side is now with us. We have to buy hit for one. Oh goody, we get to snap. Um snipe or bounty hunt or whatever we call it. Oh, if you have another trooper in play. Heal two damage to your base. This is good. Clone trooper. I only have two to purchase with. Next neutral card, so you can only use that one time. Okay, so we will go on ahead and snipe. And that gets us two more, which means the force is fully with us. And that is the end of our turn. Okay, so they will start with moving the force one in their favor. They have four, eight to purchase with. They will buy the largest capital ship they can afford, which will be a Dreadnought. That was six, that takes them down to two. They'll buy the largest card that they can play, which will be the Stapp. If there are any more, okay. That is the end of their purchasing. We'll move this up by one so I don't forget. They have two to do damage with, and they will do the damage to Camino. Good thing I took two off of that. Okay, we move the force one in our favor. And so it's fully with us now. For each other neutral card you have in play to a maximum of six. I don't have any other neutral cards in play. That stinks. That's two, four, six, seven. Okay, so we have four to purchase with and I will go with uh, Clone Commander Cody. This gives us seven to shoot with. And we will just flat out shoot the ship. Oh, hold it. Whoa, 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 whoa. One point. Okay. So Jedi will shoot the ship. That's out. And then we have Two, four, five. Two, Felicia. Okay, end of my turn. And we need to shuffle. Okay, they will move the force one in their favor. They have one, two, one, two, three, four, five to purchase with. They will buy the most expensive capital ship that they can afford. They have one point left over. They will buy the battle droid. When they attack, they cannot attack here. So they will go for... So let's go ahead. Four, 
6, 8, 10, 12, and that is the end of Camino. Oh man, I did not use Camino's power. Okay, roll a security one now. Naboo is your base. Each capital ship gains. T <laughs> Great, that's not helpful. So we've had so few capital ships. Okay, so, and I'm not buying any capital ships this turn. So, first of all, we have the force move up by one. Then we have just two to purchase with. And forgot to move this up by one. They will get the leader after next turn. Two, four, eight. So we will definitely take out Duco, which means we get a plus four. And force goes four in our favor. So this is good. So we have a total of six to purchase with now. Which I'm going to be honest, does not do us much good. Lamatsu defeats target in the Galaxy Row. Gain one for each bounty hunter in play in the Galaxy Row. And with to the Hut Fighter. Which gives us three left over. I would rather have had the ship. Anakin is five. And that means we have five left over. Wow. Four. Oh. Okay. So we have five to attack with left over, and we will not do any sniping or bounty hunting. So they have a Separatist Dreadnought. This will be six for protection. It's probably a good thing for them. They have seven to purchase with. They cannot buy either the sh any of the ships. They can't buy that. Oh, this is funny. So they will buy two Outer Rim Pilots. They also get Count Duco. They will no longer be sniping. They will just be going after Naboo. So I have got to protect Naboo with everything. Force goes two in my favor, but it doesn't really matter. We have four to purchase with. Oh, but it's in my favor, fully in my favor. So I get to buy Anakin. When the force is with you, Anakin gains three attack. And then we go on ahead and so we get whoa. So we get four for Embo, who gets one additional attack, one additional hit. So that'll be two, three, four. She will make five. Well, as a bounty hunter in the galaxy row, there is a gains plus two. So that'll be a three. So he will go over here. You have another trooper in play repair. I do not, doesn't matter. So ship is out. 
she then attacks for three. Fourteen. She's out. Geonosis, sixteen. At the beginning of each purchase step, enemy spends four to destroy the highest hit point. Of oh, oh, I hate that. Okay, so they are a little bit ahead. And we are done. They have a droid control ship, which will help them with two, three, four, five, six, seven. They will buy the largest capital ship they can for three. They'll buy the hut freighter. Oh, well, let's see. They only have four, so they will buy the hut freighter. We have one left over, so they can't do anything with that. Otherwise, they would buy the Vulture Droid. They have four to attack with. They will always go after the planet. Okay, I'm not going to do anything with Jar Jar. I have three to purchase. Oh, by an outer rim pilot. I don't know this. He's going to make it up. So then I have two plus one is three, four, five, six. So these two. We'll take out the droid control ship and we will do two points of damage to Geonosis. Okay, so they have. Wow. Move the force in their favor by one, by two, which makes it neutral. They have four to purchase, plus five is nine. They will buy the largest capital ship, which they cannot buy. The largest, which will be five, leaving them four. They will buy the Vulture Droid for two, which leaves them two. And they will take the Outer Rim Pilot for two. This gives them eight. Oh. 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 They only got one of my plant. Oh, okay, good. Oh, no, they only got Camino. Yeah, so that's uh, 8 plus 4 is, is hopefully not 12. Okay. Well, this has been interesting. So the answer is yes. We can play. So the answer is yes. We can play the Clone Wars with the leader's variant. So I hope you like this. Please make sure you like and subscribe. And I hope that you have a fantastic. Please like and subscribe.